What is going on friends? You already know what's up. That's why you clicked on this video. I'm showing you the top items that I sold this past week so that you can be on the lookout for them while you're picking. It's been an extremely busy week, so let's just get right into it. Got a pair of boots going out. This is a vintage pair of Dan Post boots and they're actually ostrich skin, which is kind of cool. La, 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 no! uh, Dan Post is one of the few brands that I've actually heard of when it comes to boots and they're definitely one you want to be on the lookout for. Paid $7.50 for these from the 44 mile yard sale and they sold for $84.50 in about a day. I thought they'd take a while because they're size eight, smaller size, but like I said, they sold really quick. So this lot of Star Wars toys was actually in the bottom of a box of Legos that I bought from a garage sale. I sold several of the Lego sets already for well over $200, paid $30 for everything. And like I said, these were in the bottom of the box. I had no idea they were there. And when I found them, I got pretty excited. They're from the 70s and 80s, and I thought they would be worth a whole lot. But truthfully, when I started looking up comps, they really weren't. So I threw them all together in a lot because they were missing pieces, let them go for auction, and they sold for $50.73. So it actually pays for everything. Always be on the lookout for golf training aids. This is a swing jacket. You wear it almost, it's almost like a straight jacket. I'll put a little video up here. What it does indoors is great. It keeps you connected to your swing. It guides you through your whole swing. If you ever feel out of sync, grab the swing jacket. But after about five or 10 swings, it was more like, Everything was in sync. I couldn't get out of sync. But it helps you correct your swing. Picked it up from a garage sale for six bucks. The same garage sale where I had actually passed on it the year before. The guy was trying to sell it again. So I grabbed it this time and it sold in a couple of days for $68.50 once I finally got around to listing it. So here is a Blu-ray disc set that you should definitely be on the lookout for, especially if it's brand new. This is Star Wars The Complete Saga. It's a nine disc set, it includes all six movies with 90 minutes of Star Wars spoofs. Paid $5 for it at a garage sale and it sold for $82.50. There's actually another version of this with Darth Vader on the cover. It doesn't sell for quite as much. So maybe this was like a limited release or a special edition, not real sure. But if you ever see this cover like this and it's new and sealed, you probably wanna pick it up. Another pair of vintage boots going out. These are made by a company called Mercedes. I'd never heard of them. There's the tag on the inside there. But I paid $7.50 for these just like the last ones and they sold for $120. I may have sold them too cheap because I actually looked at the profile on eBay of the person that bought them and they actually sell boots on eBay. So they probably knew something that I didn't but I paid $7.50 for them. Sold them for $120. That's a pretty good profit. Also they're made of Cayman. Like uh -oh. Alligator. Pretty cool. So I had two items that I sold this past week that I actually lost the footage of somehow, but I felt like I needed to tell you about them because they're definitely items that you should know. First up is this Logitech Harmony remote. Some of these remotes can go for some crazy, crazy money. I'm talking big bucks, especially if you can find the newer ones. This one is not the latest edition, but it still sold for some really good money. I paid $2 for it and it sold for $78. Next up is vintage Legos. There are serious collectors out there that'll pay good money for these things. This set was not very big, so I took the time, put it together, made sure everything was there. It was complete, got pretty lucky with that because this thing's been around since the 80s. Paid $6 for it from a garage sale and it sold for $123. This is a Garmin GPS map 478. It's a GPS, it can do like automobile and marine GPS things, whatever GPS things are. And I paid $15 for it at a thrift store. Always look the ones up that had these big antennas, even if they're older. And seriously, this one's from 2006. I'm missing the cigarette lighter plug, so I had to hardwire it to my car. Everything worked great. Listed it and it sold for $200 in a couple of days.
You guys may remember, I picked these up at the Peachtree 23 44 mile yard sale. That was in my last video. Uh, this set's 30 bucks, okay? paid $30 for this set of Titleist DCI 962B and it's actually a mix set the three through five I believe are oversized the other ones are regular 962B I had them listed at 140 got an offer of 120 I decided to take it just to move some stuff out quickly 30 into 120 is not too bad for me plus it's only going to Ohio so it doesn't actually cost me that much to ship so I get asked all the time how to ship a set of golf clubs so I figured I'd show you with this set this set is actually eight clubs, but I'm going to divide them in half. I'm going to do four and four. First up, we just grab any club, doesn't really matter, and start off just by wrapping it with bubble wrap. Take another club, stack it on top, wrap again. Keep doing that until you get all your four clubs into this bundle. Take the tape, tape it up nice and secure. And then you want to do the same thing on the end with your grips. And all I'm going to do is the same thing with the other four. So now I've got two bundles of four clubs and they're actually going to go into a five by five by 48 box. You can use a five by five by 48 or a six by six by 48, either one. I'll actually link some down in the description that you can buy on Amazon. So when I box these, I'm actually gonna take this set, put the heads down and this set, put the heads up, grips down. And they actually fit perfect in there with room to spare i'll cut down this box make it fit the size and you're good to go doesn't take long at all so i'm using pirate ship to ship these and uh, those clubs weighed eight pounds 14 ounces length is 45 six by six and let's get our rates so from south carolina going to ohio it's only going to cost us twelve dollars and nine cent to ship a whole set of golf clubs not too bad This is an easy tracer. Saw this at Goodwill. I've never seen one before, so I decided to look it up. Wasn't bringing a whole lot of money, but the sell-through rate on it was really, really good. Paid $4 for it and sold for $39.99. Basically what it is, is you put a drawing on a table and this actually projects it on the wall so that you can recreate that drawing on the wall. Pretty neat. Like I said, paid $4 for it, sold for $39.99, and it only took a couple of days. Not a big coffee mug guy, but this one was only 50 cent. It is a like a Joanna Gaines Magnolia table restaurant coffee mug. It's originally $14 from Target. I paid 50 cent for it from a garage sale, and it sold for $26.50 on eBay. Picked up these New Balance 410 version 4s from a garage sale. And the first thing that caught my eye was how big they were. They're size 13, 4E, so they're like really wide. Paid $5 for them in a garage sale and they sold in a couple of weeks for $51.50. They are basically brand new to really good condition. So the Disney Infinity Skylanders lot is still paying off. I, you may remember I paid $25 for a big bunch of stuff at a garage sale. So I maybe got a dollar into these little expansion packs. Uh, I'm not real sure what they are. I think they're for the game with cars. It's like a cars expansion pack. Like I said, I'm not real sure, but I paid maybe a dollar for them and they sold for 30. It's Chaco season. Chaco season definitely sounds better, but Chaco season is probably a little more profitable. Paid $4.50 for these from Goodwill and they sold on eBay for $29. Sold some books. This is actually a set of 11, just a little small paperbacks. They're for second graders and they're actually made by a company called Abeka. That's a company you need to know. Their stuff is crazy expensive. They make homeschooling like guides, DVDs, different lessons, stuff like that. Like I said, it's really expensive. I paid 50 cent for these, 50 cent a piece, so that's $5.50, and they sold on Mercari for $44.50. I don't typically list this brand on eBay because I'm afraid of Aviro, but I've never had a problem selling them on Mercari. I've actually sold DVDs, sets of these, for like in the hundreds. A couple of clothing items going out, and this is definitely a brand you should know. This is Spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R. This is a ladies, like a hoodie. It's actually brand new with tags. Picked it up from Goodwill, paid $5.75. There was only one comp that I could find and they had taken a best offer on 45. 
So I listed mine for 45, got an offer at 42 in a couple of days, decided to take it. I know I've had this Tommy Hilfiger shirt for years, like plural, probably two or three years. Paid a dollar fifty for it from Goodwill, and it finally sold for eight bucks plus shipping. Buyers all in like thirteen dollars, so not a huge profit, but finally glad to get rid of it. So Footjoy is definitely a good golf brand to be on the lookout for. The shoes and the hats sell really well, especially the modern stuff. The polo shirts can be kind of all over the place. If you can find one with a notable course like Pinehurst or Pebble Beach or Bethpage Black, somewhere that people have heard of, it can actually increase the value of these polo shirts. If you find one with a local course, it kind of hurts the value of these Footjoy shirts. I don't usually pick those up. This one doesn't have any logo. I paid $3 for it and it sold for $22.50. Vintage t-shirt from 1992. This is from Point Arena, California. And it's depicting the scene from the movie Forever Young starring Mel Gibson that was filmed there. Paid $1.50 for this t-shirt and it sold for $20 on eBay. Patagonia vest going out and I almost didn't buy this because it actually has a embroidery on the back a company logo on the back but they only wanted three dollars for it at the thrift store so I figured I'd give it a shot sure enough it sold in a week for forty three dollars so even with a company logo on the back these things can sell pretty well just a short sleeve Patagonia button-up shirt picked it up at a church sale this past weekend because it was a dollar picked it up listed it the same night and it sold the next day for twenty eight fifty possibly the coolest pair of shorts that i think i've ever seen and they're actually straight out of the 80s paid 375 for them at goodwill and i've had them listed for like 32.50 for a while now got an offer for 27 and i took it so shout out to my wife for this one she actually went to a community yard sale a community yard sale that i didn't want to go to i actually went out of town to sales she stayed in town and it was the only community sale in town so i knew it was gonna be crowded that's why i didn't want to go she went anyway found some awesome stuff and this club was one of those things. She actually bought three clubs from a guy, paid $100, so paid up for them. But this tailor-made RBZ Stage 2 Tour 3 Wood actually just sold for $82.50. Only took about two days. Still got a Ping G25 driver that should sell for over $100. And then a Ping I-20 hybrid that should sell for $60 or $70. So I think she did really well. This is an Adams Idea Tech 4 Hybrid. Picked it up from the Peachtree 23 in my last video. <laughs> Ended up paying $3 a piece for golf clubs, and this one sold for $32.50. This is a Cleveland CG11 Sand Wedge. Not a super high-end club to pick up, but I've only got maybe a dollar into it, and it sold for $29.50. Older club here. This is a TaylorMade Burner Super Steel 3-Wood. I believe I paid $0.89 cent for it from Goodwill, and it sold for $30. Really, really old club here. This is a Wilson Staff Tour Blade FG17. If you ever see this FG17, these clubs always sell really well, especially if you can find the whole set. This is a two iron. I paid 89 cent for it from Goodwill and it sold for $32.50. So when I picked up this Cobra Zero Limits driver, I actually kind of threw it in a bundle at a garage sale. So I've got maybe seven or eight dollars into it. I was thinking at first glance that it would sell for like 80 or 90 bucks. It doesn't. I actually only got 60 for it. Still a decent profit, but just not what I thought it would bring. So I almost didn't pick up this set of Cleveland Quad Pro irons at a garage sale, but the guy only wanted a dollar a piece for them. They're actually mismatched shafts. Two of the shafts are not the same as the others. They need new grips. But like I said, he only wanted a dollar a piece for them. So I paid $7 for them. Took about two months to sell. Cleveland's always sell eventually. They sold for 80 bucks. Yeah.